Hello students, today we shall discuss question number 1 and question number 2 of 1.4 figure it out. Chapter name is Patterns in Mathematics. Can you find a similar pictorial explanation for why adding counting numbers up and down that is 1 comma 1 plus 2 plus 1 comma 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 gives square numbers. So here we need to show the relation between adding counting numbers up and down and the square numbers. So you must know what are counting numbers. Counting numbers are numbers starting from 1, then 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and so on. Square numbers are like 1 squared. So 1 squared is 1, 2 squared that is 4, 3 squared, 9, 4 squared, 16, 5 squared, 25, 6 squared, 36. So these are the square numbers. We need to show the relation between adding this number up and down and square numbers. So now 1. I am taking this counting number 1. 1 is equal to 1. 1 is equal to 1, the first one. Now 1 plus 2 plus 1. We are going up. That means we are moving up like this. And then we are moving down. So that is what is the meaning of up and down. So 1 plus 2 plus 1. That is equal to 4. Then we start from 1. We go till 3. Then again come back. So 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1. So that equals to 9. Same way. Start from 1. Go till 4. And come back to 1. When you add these numbers. You will get 16. Now if you observe carefully. 1 is equal to 1. That is actually 1 squared. 1 into 1. This is 4. 4 is 2 squared. That is 2 into 2. Right? 9 is 3 squared. 3 into 3. This is 4 squared. So the fifth one here will be, we are going till 5 and then coming back to 1. So this will be 5 squared. So answer would be 25. You can add up and check if you are getting 25. So the pattern that is being followed here is you just need to check the middle number. Like here one single number so there is no middle number. The second one two is the middle number. Left hand side we have one here also one. So you will take this number and square it. Then next one three is the middle number. Here we have one plus two two plus one. Square three. Here square four because four is the middle number. Here five is the middle number. Okay. So this is the biggest number also in this and the middle number and just square it. So that is the pattern. We need to find a pictorial explanation for this. Using picture you need to show. So let's do that. First one we will show just by one dot. One plus two plus one. So one dot, two dots like this you do. Two, one, two and then one. So one, one, two, one. See if I join this, a square will be formed. Next is Go till 3 and then come back to 1. So 1 dot, then 1, 2, 1, 2, 3 dots. So after 3, again 2, 1, 2, 1. That's again a square number which is equal to 9. Count the dots, it will be 9 dots. Then 1 to 4 and then back to 1. 1, 2 dots, 3 dots. 4 dots and then back to 3 dots, 2 dots, 1 dot. For 5 also same way you have to do. Start from 1, go till 5 and then back to 1. So 1, 2, 3 dots, 4 dots, 5 dots and then again 1, 2, 3 4, 4 dots, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2 dots, 1. So what we did? We did diagonal like this. This is 1, this is 2, this is 3, 4, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And always we take the which is the diagonal, the square of that and that gives you the answer. 
this is how you need to find an explanation for adding counting numbers up and down and the square numbers the second question is by imagining a large version of your picture or drawing it partially as needed can you see what will be the value of 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus going up till 9900 and from 100 again going down till 1 so we need to find the value of this when we add all these numbers what do we get and for this either you can imagine this pictorial representation or you can draw it partially so we will just draw it and see what it would be we can just start with one okay then you will have two then you will have three see this is one two dots then three dots then four dots sorry this is not a dot four dots like that and suppose we are going up to like this and then we say here in this line we have 100 dots okay 100 dots and then going backwards 99 dots and then when going back to 1 this is just a partial drawing this is not a proper one the thing is that this the diagonal will have 100 dots okay 100 is in the middle of this number sequence answer would be 100 squared which is 100 into 100 and that equals to 1 into 1 is 1 and then 4 zeros. And how we got this answer? This we got from question number 1 where we saw the relation between adding counting numbers up and down. We just need to take the middle term and square it. So same way we did it. This one also middle term 100 squared it and got the answer. I hope the concept is clear to you. Thank you.